Today's Friday, uh, September 18th. It's approximately 1024 hours. My name is Trooper Joel Balducci. I'm assigned to the Suffolk County Detective Unit. Also in the room. It's uh, Trooper Tim O'Connor, Suffolk County Detective Unit. And Trooper Greg DeFossi. He's also with the Suffolk Detective Unit. Um, we're here with a Michael McCarthy, right? Yes. Michael, Michael, if you can just state your name and your date of birth. Michael McCarthy, 52980. And we're at the Beth Israel Hospital. You, you're admitted to uh, 52, correct? This is the building, fire building. Uh, we're at the Beth Israel Hospital, Yeah, right? we're at Beth Israel Okay. Um, we're conducting an investigation, but before I ask you any questions, Mike, um, I just want to read you Miranda rights, okay? Do you know what Miranda rights are? No, I'm not sure. Well, let me let me read them to you. Um, we have a form right here. It's the form. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yeah. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Can and will. Okay. Yep. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him or her with you during questioning. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you. If you decide to answer questions now, you still have the right to stop questioning at any time. Do you understand what I've read to you? Yes. You do. Okay. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Um, yeah, I don't, well, but I mean, I don't even know what it's about, so. Well, again, it's, it, this is totally up to you. I, I need to read you these rights, and it's your choice whether you talk to me or not. Um, if if you if you want me to read these rights to you again, no, I, no, I understand. I understand the whole rights thing. I'm do, just saying we'll I don't. We'll explain everything to you after we go through the paperwork. We'll we'll explain it, we'll, what this is about, but we have to go through this paperwork. First. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So having right. these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Uh, so far, I don't. Yeah, so far. Yes. Okay. okay so I'm checking off the yes box. And if you could sign here, that's where it says subject signature. See it right there? Sign. I'm going to sign underneath it. And just because of the thing, can you write the date and time beside it? It is, uh, again, September 18th, and it's approximately 1027. Nine seventeen and what time? Ten twenty seven? It's, it's uh, September eighteenth and it's ten twenty seven, yeah. Eighteenth. Alright, so just to get a little uh background Mike, uh, where where are you staying now? Where do you live? I'm kind of bouncing around from place to place. Where have you been living over the past month or so, a uh, couple months? Um, Mattapan. Whereabouts in Mattapan? Um, Maxwell Street. Do you I've know also what? stayed in Quincy on Hancock Street. What, what number on uh, Maxwell Street? I think it's 115. 115 Maxwell. What about Quincy? What number? Quincy Street. 618 on uh, Hancock. 618 Hancock. Um, and then a few of my friends just randomly here and there. What other friends? Um, just a bunch of kids. It's a few different kids I grew up with. Just okay. n never for long. Just like maybe a night here or there. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? Salty. Salty. Yeah. Okay. And I, did I ask you, what's your date of birth? How old are you? I'm 34. 34? What's your date of birth? 529.80. 529.80? Yeah. What about a phone number? You have a cell phone number? I I did, but I may have lost it on my screen because uh, it's 857-615-5482. 5482? Yeah. Eight, eight, I was eight. talking to the nurses about that this morning. I can't find my money on my cell phone. Who, who'd you come in here with? Um, um my, my girlfriend, okay. Kathleen. Okay, so um, get back to Quincy. So where were you, before you came here to the hospital, where were you staying? Mattapan, Quincy, your friend's house? Mattapan. You were staying, who did you, who did you live in Mattapan with? Um, Rochelle Bond, but I don't even know if that's her real name or not. 
It's, she said she has a, another name. I think her real last name's Jones. Who's Rochelle Bond? Is that your girl? Was it? You said your girlfriend's Kathleen. Who's Rochelle then? Yeah, Rochelle's someone. She's just like a friend. Friend. Okay. Um, how old is she? She's in her early forties. Who else? Any other roommates? Who else you live there with? Um, like. She had people in and out of there sometimes, um, but no, like, roommates that stayed there. And people would, like, spend the night sometimes, but no, no roommates. So it was just, she just lived there by herself? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty and, much. and you? Yeah. How long, how long did you stay there with her for? Um... Six months. Six months? Uh, what's her phone number? Do you have her phone number? I, she doesn't even have a phone, I don't think. No. Are you, do you, are you working? Do you work at all? I don't. Know? I'm waiting to collect this. I, said, I was working until I shattered my shoulder. And you, then I was doing plumbing. How'd you shatter your shoulder? When I had a seizure. Uh, what about um, her? Did she work? Mm, no. No? What about... Um, a car. Do you guys have, you have a car? I, I got a car. What kind of car do you have? I have a, uh, uh, Chevy Cadillac. Okay. Uh, where is that? Is that parked here or something? Or where is no. it? Where is that car? That was, uh, I took an ambulance here, so. Oh. From, from, from Maxwell Street? No. From, from the, uh, uh This was like the fourth hospital I went to. That's okay. So all right, like so, a, yeah. all right. Where's where's Rochelle? Where's Rochelle now then? I have no idea. When's the last time you talked to her? Um, probably like Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday would have been what? Monday or Tuesday this week. Like the beginning of this week, maybe? Yeah, yeah. And when you left Maxwell, was she with you when you left? When she left Maxwell. When you left Maxwell, and you left Maxwell to come to the hospital, right? Yeah. Who, who did, who was she? Yeah, she? She, le she left. We went to BMC, got mm -hmm. into like a argument. You well, and her? Yeah. What day was that? Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, and then? And then it just... And then she left. Yeah. Came back in and said, like, walked back in the hospital, started acting crazy again, and then walked back out. Huh. So would you guys consider yourself like boyfriend and girlfriend, or no? No. 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 All right. So back, back to um, Maxwell. You said people would people come and go and stay. Is it a one bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment, or what? A uh, two bedroom two. apartment. So what was the first, the first bedroom was what, your bedroom? No, the, the first bedroom, like, we, I basically stayed on the couch. Yeah. Like, a, a lot. Yeah. And so, but so would she, she would, like, stay on the other couch, almost no one would stay yeah. in the first bedroom. And then the back bedroom was her daughter's. Oh, okay. But yeah. her daughter got taken by DSS. It, it's like her fourth kid that's been taken by DSS. Really? Yeah. How many kids does she have? She had four kids? From what she tells me. Really? Yeah. What? I, um, haven't, I haven't known her that, that long. So the first bedroom was like, you guys stayed on the couch, but the first bedroom was hers, and yeah. then the back bedroom was her daughter's, but did her daughter stay there? Was her daughter ever staying there when you were there, or no? Or was it tell where she was taken by DSS before you got there? Just, it, no, she was at, at first for like the first few months. Okay. And then... Okay. So, how did that work? Did you, you didn't take care, did you take care of her or no? no. Did you start to go? No. I just like play with her sometimes. How like old? She had to run to the store. How old was that girl? Um, two. And what was, what was her name? Belle. What about the other kids? Did, did she have other, did you know any of the other kids that no. could take them to DSS? No. Do you know where they were or? 
I think she said one of them was with her mother got taken by DSS. I don't I don't know if her mother had and then DSS took her from the mother. What? I'm not sure if that's how that happened. I'm not sure if What's what's her mom's name? I don't know. Do you know where she stay lives? She told me before but I can't recall. Hmm. Close by or no? I know it's like up near New Hampshire somewhere. So but it's in Massachusetts. Oh. And Rochelle's like four, did you say like 40 or how old? In like her early 40s. And what did she do? Did she work or no? Um, she's, I, she said she used to be a stripper back in the day. Yeah. Huh. You know. Okay. So when you first got there, you said about six months ago, um, how did you meet her? How'd you meet her? I met her just outside. Outside just like where? walking by. Where? Um, in like Mattapan? No, no, no. By, um, I, I'm on the methadone clinic and by like where I go to the methadone clinic, walking by and we that? In, in, Qu in Quincy day. Methadone or in, in Boston? In Boston. Is that the one by like, uh, like South Bay over there? Yeah, that area. Correct. Oh, right. right. um, so you met her there about six months ago? Yes. And how'd you get to moving in with her? Actually, I met her probably more like months before that. Yeah. You know, I met her like months before. It was like I met her and, you know, ended up right in there. We talked on the phone a few times and and then, um, you know, I ended up over her house one day and just didn't end up leaving. So when you first ended up over her house, who was, uh, were any of the other kids there or just that, or just the Bella? Bella. Bella. So Bella was staying there then? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, no, none of the other kids. None of the other kids. Do you know any of the other kids' names or no? She said them to me. Um, that, that's, all, that, that's all right. So you show up there and, and she's there and Bella's there and did you just stay there for, for, uh, for from that day on or no? How, how, did, how did that work? No, I mean... A good amount of the days out of the week, I would stay there, but sometimes I'd still go back to Quincy and stay. So you guys weren't, she wasn't working and you weren't work, wasn't working? Right. So what did you, what was your like day, what did you do all day? Well, not, not much really. I mean, I kind of have this guy out yeah. a few times a day. Um, I uh, had all my friends some of the time in the day, plus I'd have to... I go and take the um, train to the methadone clinic and then all the way back every day. So mm -hmm. that would end up eating like three, four hours out of the day, like waiting for a bus and then yeah. taking it. What, what did, uh, so who took care of Bella on a daily basis? Rochelle? Yeah. Did she, did, did she go to school or not go to school? Rochelle? No, Bella, the, the daughter. No, no, no. So six months ago, how old would... Dollar of bed. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. and when, when, so you guys were staying together. When, when did, when did, were you there when DSS took her, Bella? No. How did that happen? What happened there? I have no, I don't know if somebody called on her. I don't, she, she always used to complain about, um, her, the kid that she had the baby with. Who's that? Do you know who that was? I have no idea, but he showed up at the house the last few nights before I came in here. Yeah. Pounded on the back door one day, and he would like he was waiting for people to like come in the house because the front and back door is locked. Yeah. And when people would go out, he would just kind of shoot right into the house. Yeah. So um, he flew in the back door one day and was like banging on the back door, and then the next day he came. I was not the next day after or the next it was three days after that yeah. he came in the front door at like midnight yeah. and was banging on the front door again and wow. yelling and screaming you know and then she's like did you have any problems with that guy What's or anything that? I've never met him before in my life and I just figured to stay out of his yeah, it's, it's a good call right yeah all right so six months ago you move in and you Rochelle and Bella are there how long do you think 
you guys were living together with Bella before she was taken from DSS? Uh, it wasn't long. It wasn't maybe a couple months, maybe. A couple months? I mean, because I remember uh, my family took her out to, we took her out to brunch for uh, Easter. And it wasn't too long after that that, uh... So did you, did you just, so it was sometime after Easter? Yeah, it was definitely after Easter. Did she have to go to court or anything, or did you just come home and the baby, and, and, and the baby Bella was gone? You see, I, I, I'm not sure, I, I don't have babies, yeah. and I'm not sure how it works. Yeah. Um, but R Rochelle's had, from what I understand, of all of her kids yeah. taken from DSS. And she told me that um, the guy said to her, we can either like do this the nice way or the hard way. Like, I can either take the baby now or I can show up with a bunch of cops. And Rochelle, take, take Rochelle, Rochelle told you that? She said that, yeah, yeah that's what the guy said to her, yeah. So, if you, were you staying there every day? You were staying there every day, right? At that point, yeah. And when, so would you just come home one day and... and the, Bell was gone or yeah and I was like what yeah. was it a process like do they come I'm just I don't I don't know the answer that's why I'm asking was it a process like does does DSS did they contact her and then like give her like a warning or was 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 she was it I've never did, had to deal with them really? right? did she did she talk about it she complained about her I don't her know anything? how it goes I mean she she had mm -hmm. mentioned that somebody had said something to her because she like gave her a little spank in the ass Really? Yeah, and she was like, you know, nowadays DSS can get taken for, take kids for nothing yeah. all the time. She's like, it's ridiculous. The, she's like, the other kids I've lost were all for nothing. She's like, the, you know, courts get involved and it's for nothing. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but. Did, um, was, did anyone else take care of the, of the child or the children that she had? Like a grand, grand a mother, a sister, a brother, no? Like I said, like, one of the other kids supposedly went to live with the mother for a little while, yeah. but, um, um, Did anyone have contact while you were there? Did you see anyone taking care of Bella beside her? No. Did you take care of her at all? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll more just, like, play with her. I'm not, I'm not a father. I never really had nieces and nephews. I only have one brother. Yeah. So I'm not too good with, like, feeding kids yeah. and... You know, but I'd always like play with her. We'd have fun. Had a good relationship with her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, how did that whole thing go down? You come home and the, and and Bella's gone. What happens then? I was just trying to calm her down. And she was kind of really upset. You yeah. know. Did did um did anyone did anyone come looking for her or like did, did the father come looking for her did the father the father was in florida he had just come home like i don't even think he's been home for 10 days yet yeah from what i understand anyways what, what about was she was like dcf like children and family did they come check on uh, on on bella or anything or no no so she didn't have like a caseworker or anything no no preschool she was too young for preschool right whatever yeah. what what about I mean I'm just trying to figure like the living arrangements like so the were the living arrangements okay for her I'm just trying to figure out why DCF would come take her out did she have her own bed in the room yeah she had her own bed in the room what was the bed was it a crib or was it a bed it was a bed like what do you remember what it looked like uh, I mean it was like a small probably single bed what about any toys? Oh, did she have? Did she have toys? In yeah, there? she had plenty of toys. Yeah, toys. So, does was like when she when Bella gets taken, does where did all that stuff go? Did she did she still keep it? Is it still in the house? The bed and the yeah, the yeah everything's still there. So all the the bed that she slept in and all the toys and stuff, and she's kept all that stuff for her. Yeah, all that stuff's still in the house. Yeah, I mean it was really surprising because I mean she seemed to be a really Good, good mother. Yeah, for sure. She yeah. really did. So you you walk in and what described up your apartment. So what is it? A living room? You describe. You, you you walk in the front door. There's a living room right to the left. Yeah. Then if you did like a U-turn type deal, then the front bedroom's there. Yeah. Then it's like the kitchen, 
and then the bathroom to the left, the back door to the right, and then the back room, Bella's room, yeah. and then the very back. So in the back right, so that's where the bed is still there and the toys and everything else? Yeah, well, the toys are kind of still scattered. To oh, the, all. The, the, um, all right, so what about, um, did you and Rochelle ever argue or anything? Yeah, we had a share of arguments. About what? Normal stuff. Couples argue over usually yeah. nothing. Yeah. Did Did Rochelle ever? Does she ever try to go see Bella anymore or no? No. Which I kind of. I don't say I thought it was strange, but it was just kind of like, um, you know, she, she, whenever I'd bring it up, she wouldn't want to talk about it. She would just not want to talk about it at all. What you asked, you, what, what do you mean bring it up how? If I would say like, you know, are you working on getting Bella back at, at, at all? Yeah. And she would just kind of be like, listen, I, I've been through this before plenty of times. Yeah. Once they take your kids, you don't get them back. You don't really? get them back. Really? And, you know, I hate arguing, especially with females, so I would just kind of let it go. Yeah. You know, I could huh. tell she was already pretty wound up. And you don't know where Rochelle is now? I would guess at her house. Yeah? I would guess. I'm not 100%. I've been in here for days. What, what would you say if I told you she was talking to us? She's talking to the state police right now. She, she's, she's with some troopers talking to the state police right now. And she's sort of talking about the same things that we're talking about right now. But her version of the story is a lot different than what your version of the story is about your relationship, about Bella, about the living arrangements and stuff like that. What do you, what do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I don't know how much different it could be. No? Okay. Um, well, again, that's why we're here trying to talk to you. We're trying to just find out really, you know, what happened between you and her and what happened to Bella because Bella's not in DCF custody. And, and Rochelle is telling us something different about what happened to her, um, and, and that something different involves you. Like what? Well, that's why I'm here trying to, you know, I, we, as investigators, we just don't listen to one side of the story. We like to listen, we, we talk to both people involved. So obviously you and Rochelle are involved in this situation, and we're trying to get the truth out. So I'm here talking to you, uh, just trying to find out what happened the baby and you're telling me some things that just don't line up but I want to hear what happened I think I know what happened to the baby but I want to hear it from you and this is a one chance for you to tell the truth about what happened now a lot of things could have happened but I'd like to hear it from you I'm telling you everything that I know and have been told since her since really absolutely so you had no interaction with the child or something didn't happen to the child that could have caused harm to that child? I mean, I had interaction with the child, yeah, but like nothing that would have caused harm to her. No? Like playing with her, talking with her, no. being around the house when she was around there, going out with the dog, taking her to the park, things like that. Why, why would Rochelle tell us that you, you hit the child, hit Bella? Couldn't tell you. No? No. And I don't think Rochelle would let someone stay around that was did, did you hitting have, her child. Did she ever hit the child? Not that I saw. No, that's why I was kind of surprised when she even said when someone spanked her on the said someone said spanked her said someone said they saw her spank her on the bum. I was even kind of surprised at that. I, listen, Mike. People go through a lot in life, okay? I'm, I'm going to be straight with you right now, okay? And I can just tell talking to you, you look extremely nervous. Mm -hmm. It's like the weight of the world's on your shoulders right now. I know what happened to Bella. These troopers in the room know what happened to Bella. We've been conducting an investigation for months now. Okay? We talked to a lot of people. We're still talking to people. Um, you know what I'm talking about. And now's your chance to get ahead of it. And tell and tell the truth, okay? We want to know 
why it happened. And you know, if the oh shit button went off, that it happens. But to sit here and lie to me about it and not come, you know, get it off your chest and do the right thing for the little girl, Rochelle's already talking. We already have the whole story. I'm not making that up. I can't come in here as a state police officer and lie to you and tell you what's not and what, what, what is and what's not happening. She's telling the story. Now's your chance to get out from under whatever you're under and come clean and tell us what happened and let us figure this out. Because if you just sit here and blow smoke up my ass and our asses and lie and lie and lie and lie, you're just digging yourself in a big, bigger hole. I'm not blowing smoke up anyone's ass. Okay. If you're saying, you know, I might look nervous, maybe it's because I'm about to go into a major no, no. surgery in an hour. No, I'm just, like I said, you know, I'm talking like to you. You couldn't have caught me at a worse time. It's okay. Like, you're doing great. I'm telling you right now, you're doing great. You know, the, the whole interview was going great until I sort of confront you with some things that, that, aren't, that I don't believe are truth. You know? So, again, something happened to a little girl, okay? And even, even, even things that you said about the apartment, those aren't true. You've already been to the apartment. What things about the apartment aren't true? Listen, I'm, tell, I'm trying to tell you little bits of information that I know to show you that I'm not in here jerking you around. I'm here to get your side of the story of what happened to Bella. And now is your chance to tell us. And I told you, I told you everything I know the best of my recollection. If that apartment is different, maybe you guys were in the wrong apartment. Uh, because what I said again is you go to the front door, the living room's to the left, then the front bedroom's behind that, then you walk and the kitchen's out there, yeah, and then no, the I'm bathroom's not, not after about that, that, and the Mike, bedroom's... Mike, I'm worried about where Bella is. Yeah, now I am too, yeah. because the, he's, that, I'm until Mike, she's been Mike, in DSS. Mike, do you understand what he's saying though, when he says Rochelle's talking and giving more information than you are? Do you understand what that means? Yeah, I've seen enough. Well, I've seen enough TV to have yeah. an idea this, what this that is, Mike, means. This isn't, this isn't TV. I know it's yeah. not TV, but I'm just saying to understand you, what that means. You understand but what, I she, can't. what he means when she says that she's talking, and she's giving a totally different story than what you're giving, and we're giving you a chance to give your side of the your version of the story. I'm giving my truthful side of the story. Why? Why would Rochelle? Answer me this, and I'm asking you this other question. Why would Rochelle tell us that you hurt her baby? Maybe to cover her own ass if she was. There's nothing else I can think of. Why would Rochelle let me hurt her baby? I, I'm asking you. We're asking you that question. We were at that. Doesn't make any it sense. It doesn't make any sense to us why she would just pull your name out of a hat and say, Michael McCarthy hurt my baby. Maybe because I was the only one around. Yeah. No one else was really around. She doesn't have too many friends. Yeah. I mean, if something, if something went wrong or something while you were watching the baby or she was watching the baby or if something went sideways and things happened and it was an accident or, or, or what happened or it was just a spanking or something. What was I don't, I'm trying, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, Mike. I'm just trying to figure out. I can't comprehend how a child like that could get hurt, killed, killed, right? Killed? She's, you don't know she's dead? No. You don't know Bella's dead? No. Really? No. Huh. She's not? Not to my knowledge. Are you sure? Positive. You didn't drive over to East Boston? No. Southie? Southie? No. Boston Harbor? No. No? No. Mike, we've been handling this investigation for months. It's been all over the news. We're here right now talking to you. This, this, is, not, this is not some sort of, we're homicide detectives. Okay, we've been doing this for a long time. Okay. Okay? This is the real deal. This is your chance to get out from under this. Okay, we know what went, went wrong. We know what happened to Bella. I don't think you do know what happened to Bella. She's sitting there basically saying I did something, so you don't know what happened to her. Then you tell me what happened to her. I have no idea. Okay. It is uh, 10.54, and we're going to end this interview.